Hello, you're watching Shalom World News. I'm Donna Villa coming to you from Chicago, USA. Here are the latest headlines from around the world. The Vatican has announced the canonization date of a French mystic, hermit, and missionary who was martyred while bearing witness to the gospel in Algeria. Blessed Charles de Foucault will be raised to the altars on May 15, 2022, along with six others at the Vatican. Born in Strasbourg, France, Foucault enlisted in the French army and served in North Africa for a while in the final years of the 19th century. After leaving the army, he joined a Trappist monastery back home, but he felt that he was called to a more austere monastic life. He left the monastery and went to Algeria. Father Foucault ministered among the Muslim Tuaregs, bearing witness to the gospel. December 1, 1916, he was gunned down by members of a rival tribe. Along with Blessed Foucault, an 18th century lay martyr from India, Lazarus de Visahayam Pillai, will also be raised to the altars. Governor Greg Abbott of the U.S. state of Texas has written to the heads of three state education agencies urging them to protect children from pornographic material and other inappropriate content in public schools. He said that although he had made the same appeal to Texas Association of School Boards, the board skirted responsibility. The governor has joined the campaign of Republican State Representative Matt Krause to probe books in public schools that cover topics such as race, gender identity, and sexual orientation. In a statement, the Texas Association of School Boards said it has no authority over what content is made available to public school students. The representative, who is the chairperson of the House General Investigating Committee, has sent state and local schools a list of more than 800 books on such controversial topics, asking them to search for such books on their campuses. The growth of the Archdiocese of Abuja in Nigeria, which is celebrating its 40th anniversary, has been phenomenal. When it became an independent mission in 1981, there were only a few thousand Catholics. Today, the number has grown exponentially and will reach one million soon. While offering Holy Mass on November 6th, marking the anniversary of the Archdiocese, its Metropolitan Monsignor Ignatius Kaigama paid tribute to the late Cardinal Ignatius Ekandem, the first Nigerian cardinal who took the initiative to form the independent mission of Abuja. Archbishop Kaigama said that the late cardinal worked with several missionary orders to develop the Abuja community. According to Anuario Pontifico, the Vatican Handbook on Church Statistics, Abuja had less than 9,400 Catholics in 1990. Now the number is between 895,000 to 900,000. Vocations are also growing, and the Archdiocese has 303 priests now compared to a mere 24 in 1990. The U.S. State Department has urged China to release a Christian journalist who was in jail citing her deteriorating health condition. Citizen journalist Zhang Zhan was given a four-year jail sentence for her reportage of the outbreak of the novel coronavirus in Wuhan. Zhang Zhan has been on a hunger strike in jail since May last year. The U.S. intervention comes after reports say that her health is rapidly deteriorating. State Department spokesperson Ned Price said they have repeatedly expressed serious concerns about the arbitrary nature of her arrest and ill treatment, adding that Jean has to be released immediately. The 38-year-old former lawyer traveled to Wuhan in February 2020 and documented what she witnessed on the streets and hospitals through live streams despite threats by government authorities. She was arrested in May on charges of inciting trouble. Ever since she began a hunger protest, Zhang has been force-fed through a tube and has been physically restrained. 
The Ethiopian government's oppression of the Tigray population continues as fighting intensifies between federal troops and ethnic militia in that restive region. In the latest incident, Catholic missionaries were arrested in the nation's capital, Addis Ababa. Soldiers raided a center run by Salesians in the capital, arresting 17 people, including priests, religious brothers, and staff. Most of them are Tigrayans. They were taken to an undisclosed location. Although the reason is unknown, a tweet stated that priests were accused of sending money to a Tigray rebel outfit. The federal government, led by Prime Minister Ahmed Abi, said federal troops of Tigray region last November to crush the rebels who are seeking independence. Rights organizations have reported that thousands have been killed and millions displaced in the clashes. The Salesians, who arrived in Ethiopia in 1975, have been playing a key role in revamping the educational sector. In a tragic incident, as many as 25 children were burned to death in Niger after their wood and thatch classrooms were gutted by flames on Monday. The incident took place in the town of Maradi, which is located 600 kilometers east of Niamey, the capital. Thirteen students were admitted at a hospital with injuries, and the condition of four is serious. The students, most of them between ages five and six, were attending classes in straw-thatched classrooms when the fire broke out. The flames gutted three classrooms. The cause of the fire is yet to be determined. Being a developing country, Niger tries to fix the lack of infrastructure by building makeshift schools using wood and thatch. In April 20, preschool children lost their lives in a similar conflagration in Niamey after being trapped behind their school gates. Classes have been suspended, and three days of mourning have been declared in the region, said Mama Hidi, regional director of education. Beijing has shut down yet another Christian school, depriving more than 100 students of the right to education. The latest school has been targeted by the government is the Golden Reed Kindergarten and Primary School Learning Center in Tangzhou District in Beijing. Authorities ordered the staff and students to vacate the premises before shutting it down. The institution was established by Golden Lampstand Church, an evangelical outfit in Beijing. More than 100 Christian students, including those who need special care, attended the school. On October 12, police from Suzhou in Jingshu province arrested five staff and the director of Abika Academy, another Christian homeschool initiative based in the U.S., accusing them of imparting religious studies. Minority rights organizations in Pakistan have joined hands to protest the blocking of a bill that protects underage girls of minority groups from being abducted and forcibly converted to Islam. Christian advocate Tabassum Yusuf has called on the nation's minorities to defend the proposed bill to safeguard underage girls during a protest at the press club in the port city of Karachi. The protest organizer, Shabir Shafkwat, has asked Prime Minister Imran Khan and the court to intervene to safeguard women from abduction and forced marriages. Although Pakistan has laws protecting religious minorities, kidnappers frequently flout those regulations and brazenly abduct minor Christian, Hindu, and Sikh girls and convert them to Islam before forcefully marrying them. When a bill was introduced to put an end to such practices in the Muslim-majority nation, it was rejected by the Parliamentary Commission, terming it Islamic. On November 13, minority rights groups will be conducting peaceful rallies in various cities in Pakistan. And those are your latest headlines. Do join us tomorrow. In the meantime, you can visit swnews.org for more updates. Shalom.